Howdy folks, my name is Dom. Welcome to today's Quick Fix. And unless you've been hiding under a rock or perhaps a new behemoth, you may not have seen the trailer for the new free-to-play game, Dauntless, published by Phoenix Labs. Initially launched for the PC in May of 2018, earlier this week, we had the final version of the game launch for Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on the Epic Games storefront, including full support for cross-platform play between Xbox One and Windows, with the expectation that PlayStation 4 will soon have compatibility as well as Phoenix Labs and Epic continue their conversations with Sony. Now, Dauntless has a very extensive list of developers with a very broad pedigree from Bioware to Blizzard to Capcom, Phoenix Labs itself was formed by former Riot Games developers Jesse Houston, Sean Benner, and Robin Main. The look and feel has been inspired by the animated Disney film Tangled. This is intended to avoid hyperrealism, which is pretty good for that. Now, what interests me the most about this is that the microtransaction within the game are largely cosmetic and temporary boosts rather than requiring players to access game content itself. Jesse Houston has stated it was important that the player gets shown wearing rare armor or weapons in the game, but they got those through skill and not by having a deep wallet. Now, in a desire to create a clearer relationship with content being purchased, Phoenix Labs is offering a battle pass system using hunt and season passes, providing a rotating set of cosmetics and emotes. And it looks like a very fun and well thought out game release. Of course, the game has been in beta for a long time and it might've taken some time, but finally we've got the release. I think that the wait was worth it. Let us know what you think though, because this has been your quick fix. My name is Dom. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, GG.